Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Orbital Potato. This is Orbital Auto to all you car makers and builders out there. Um, we're gonna we're gonna start majorly improving this factory in this episode. I don't know why I suppose that um, that that some people out there were car car builders. Um, you never know. There's some there might be some car builders that are watching this. I don't know. Anyway, at the end of the last episode, we talked about how we got this. Big, 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 big pot of money um, that we're not really doing anything with. We've also uh, got access to a bunch of loans. Now, we need to make sure that we're taking advantage of this money so that um, so that we can invest it and use it and, you know, pay it all back and, you know, happy capitalism and all that. Um, anyway, what we're going to do to splash the cash, we're going to fill out the number of research offices. That's just, a, I think, the first course of action. Uh, because we've got the driver assistance coming along quite nicely and after that we need to start thinking about you know getting perhaps a, a second or, or should I say a first a first a first technology to add to the uh, premium car which is something that I'm really looking uh, really forward to doing uh, we also want to uh, expand this whole process and you know make sure that we're subdividing each and every task uh, that's also something else that we're going to do. So let's have a quick little look at the um, at the graph. Uh, I'm going to choose auto steer headlights. Is this something that we can actually do? Maybe, maybe we can't do any of this stuff until we've actually got the specialized fitting stuff. It doesn't actually matter if that's not the case. We're still going to research this now. We haven't sold 10 cars yet anyway, so we're still waiting to do that. And I'm quite happy at the the, the way that it's uh, the way that things are continuing. I am honestly, I think that we could probably do with another painting machine. Uh, as you can probably see, it's slightly quicker. Yeah, it's slightly quicker here. 28 minutes, whereas this takes 34 minutes. So uh, yeah, there is a slight cue. But that's not too bad at all. That's that's fine as far as I'm concerned. Um, what I really would like to think about setting up is just another production line like this. Um, that would actually be quite nice. If we could set one up just over here, then I think that that might help us uh, bolster our numbers somewhat. And by, of course, somewhat, I mean it would absolutely help us bolster our numbers. Uh, so let's let's pause quickly and let's roughly try and do the exact same setup that we've got over here. So we're going to try and get the uh, fit body, two fit bodies. In fact, what we're actually going to do, is, and what we actually can do, um, since we've got uh, three, three of these bad boys, is we're actually going to get three fit bodies. Um, hold on a minute, let me put that there. I actually want to get rid of this. I know... I know it's uh, a severe waste of cash, but the reason will become clear. Um, that can stay there. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make this come out this way. Uh, get rid of that. That go that way. This come out this way. Good stuff. That add to there. Then this up here. And then this along and up there. This may seem a little bit wasteful, but it means that we can treat uh, both of those chassis machines with the respect that they deserve. There's no real need for it to be all the way out over there, but uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't particularly matter. Um, anyway, we need a bunch of paint machines. I think we pretty much need three paint machines. Um, it is about a one-to-one -one ratio. Talked a little bit earlier how it's not a, not a perfect one-to-one -one ratio, but it's kind of perfect enough for what we need it for uh, currently. There we go. So let's get that set up. Uh, this fit engine is pretty much a one-to-one -one ratio as well. We are going to have to take out a little bit of a loan. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of a loan. Um, what's the cheapest situation here for us? Five, five days, six point something percent. It's pretty much the best for us. We will take that one. Indeed, we shall. Uh, paint. We've already got paint. Fit engine. Let's take. Uh, let's take three more fit engines. Let's take a. What is that? That's thirteen minutes, and that's twenty-two minutes. I think we can get away with one fit accessories. 
Boom. Um, and then I think we can actually just get away with one Fit Electronics in total. So I don't actually think we need to add a second one there. There we go. Add that. Up there. Over there. And over there. Get you up there and there. And there. Insightful commentary this, isn't it? Um, I'm not sure if this is going to be fine with just one quality check um, thingamabobber. Same with export, we might have slight problems uh, when it comes to quality checking and exporting, but alas, it's a price or a risk we uh, we must take. Alright, let's get some conveyors into place. Now, uh, we've actually got a stockpile there, which is going to be quite helpful. Uh, so, I'm actually going to connect those up to that. You're going to be connected up to that. Uh... And then we're going to extend this resource importer. I talked a little bit in the last episode how we really want to make sure that we're not overloading our um, our resource importers. I actually don't think we're going to need to use that resource importer. I'm going to leave it there because we're eventually going to we're eventually going to need it. There's no point in refunding it right now. But um, yeah, pretty much, pretty much, I think we're going to be uh, we're going to be in an okay situation. Uh, we've already got the uh, the fit body um, uh, supplies stockpiled. Pretty, pretty certain that that's actually going to be all we really need. Um, hopefully the chassis can start being assembled as soon as possible. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Yep, buy. We need to make sure actually that we buy the, uh, the upgrades. Yep, I'll take that. And that should give us a little bit of a, a little bit of a bonus. We are going to see a little bit of a, a money outlay currently happen. Ah, hold on a minute. We forgot about this old chap over here. There we go. You should now be connected. No biggie. No biggie on that one. If there are any sort of, uh, if there are any bottlenecking issues, then we can certainly look at dealing with that. Um, I want to talk briefly about the reason that I've done this, and that'll sort of um, become clear uh, right about now, actually, is that we really want to make sure that that these that these chassis are going where they're needed rather than, you know, we basically need to have both of these guys on the same belt because they each, they each provide about, they each provide about two and a half times the number of chassis needed to supply the fit body stations. Therefore, they need to be combined onto one route to make sure that, that we can take advantage of that extra 0.5 production per chassis assembly area. That literally doesn't, well, it literally does make sense, but it's, um, it's difficult to say. Uh, let's also add you in, and therefore we're making a one-to-one -one ratio, which is pretty much exactly the same as what they make over there. Perfect. You can already start to see that we're having uh, slight overloading issues. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. That's, uh, it's quite a lot. You gotta bear in mind that there's quite a lot of parts that we're, that we're importing from um, this terminal here. That fit body section is a lot of materials. Uh, so that is something that I think we'd look to rectify, actually. Yeah, let's rectify this right now because, as you can see, there is going to be quite a severe bottleneck. Uh, waiting for resources, I think, will actually start to grow. And that is the one thing that I really, really, really want to make sure um, that we don't do. Uh... Nope, let's just choose our next research project. Have we sold 10 cars yet? Unfortunately, we haven't. We haven't sold 10 cars yet. That's a little bit of an annoyance, but it is what it is. Whatever. Um, let's just unlock a bunch of these technologies whilst we're waiting to uh, sell 10 cars. We honestly cannot be very far away at this current moment. Maybe a, maybe we've got a little bit to go, but, um, but not too long. Oh, actually, no, that reminds me. Let's look at, right down to the bottom here, let's look at power production, because power production is actually something that we can, uh, that we can positively impact and, and deal with quite soon, actually. Actually, no, it's not. I tell a lie. That's, that's, a comp that's, that's, that's a complete lie, actually. How do I get rid of that? We can't actually do anything with power production because we don't have any... Well, actually, no. I am telling a complete lie. I thought power power production could only be put here. That's I'm pretty sure that's nonsense. I think power production can be put anywhere. I don't know what I'm on about. Anyway, I, I need to stop uh, I need to stop speaking nonsense and uh, get back to building the, this factory up. Anyway, oh no 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 not that. Oh no 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 no. 
what what what's going on here no 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 why is this this is no 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 why is this okay why is this okay this is this is a bug i guess right let me let me save and reload hold on a minute yeah abandon and reload orbital auto okay this is very clearly a bug uh interesting bug i tell you interesting bug indeed <laughs> Um, I mean, I don't really want to play, to play like this. Let me have a look. Let me let me see what I can do. Hold on a minute. Okay, a man in the current game. Quit here. Let's reopen it up. <laughs> reopen it up. See if it loads up into the recording software. Does it? Yay, there we go. All right. And it works. We fixed it. We fixed the problem. Very interesting bug. Very, very interesting bug there. Um, I thought I thought at one point that we might have accidentally deleted the whole factory, uh, but I'm glad that that wasn't the case. Anyway, let's hope that this works now. Okay, so I want to delete just that. There we go. Just the resource conveyor right there. And then I want to hook these two bad boys up to that there. Uh, and I want to get a supply stockpile right there. Copy from slot and fit body. That's it. And we've pretty much replicated what we've got over here, replicated it over there. Hopefully that means that we're not importing anywhere near uh, the amount of stuff. Hopefully that's the case anyway. Might take a while just to filter through, but I'm very, very hopeful actually that we're, we're going to manage to get on top, of, uh, on top of this importing stuff. We could, if we if we absolutely needed to, we could get rid of paint, because currently we supply paint to those those two areas. But we could we could get rid of that if needed. Um, looks like we've also got some bottlenecking issues over here as well. But I think it's going down on the whole. I think they're both quite manageable now. I think anyway. Uh, you know, it seems that you know, you know, that 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 yellow section has increased. That's never a good sign. Never a good sign, actually. How many vehicles have we got in the showroom? And how many cars have we actually sold? Yes, how do I find out? How do I find out again how many cars that we've sold? We've sold six cars. That's pretty good. I'll, I'll take that. That's 260,000 bucks. That's not a bad show. We are holding quite a lot of stock in the showroom. But again, I'm not too worried about that. Hey, look, we've managed to get on top of that. We're about to get on top of this. Soon? I can feel it. I can feel it. We're going to get on top of this at some point. I very much hope that we can address that, but hey-ho. Anyway, if we have a little look at our expenses in the last hour, capital investment is a, is a big one. Component purchase. I'm not too worried about any of that nonsense, really. Are we still researching power? We are researching power. That's that's okay. I'm, I think I'm okay with that. Um, I'm also okay with pretty much everything that's happening right now. Have we sold our... Um, our first budget sedan. Uh, orbital sedan mark one. No, because currently we've got two cars in the market. We've got the orbital sedan budget edition, and then we've got the uh, orbital sedan mark one. They're both exactly the same type of car. Uh, can I include that? Auto steer headlights. Yes, but that's not going to make a difference because. Uh, we can't actually, we can't actually make auto steer headlights at all, because we don't have the appropriate, uh, the appropriate bits and bobs. We need to have specialized machines in order to make that dream a reality. So we are a tiny bit away from that. So that is a little bit annoying, but that's okay. Anyway, when are we going to sell our first? Um, when are we going to sell our first cheap car? I know it takes a while to sort of go through the whole process of doing it. Oh, Orbital Sedan Budget Edition. I mean, there might be a car in the showroom right now that I've just missed. Nope, looks like all of these are uh, the regular Orbital Sedans. Uh, that's fine. Um, I'm completely okay with that. 
it indeed does look like that will be the uh hold on a minute that will be yeah this white car will be the first oh do i need to hold that on there we go yep so it looks like this will be the first car that is gonna that is gonna go i want to see how fast it goes that's um that's primarily what um what i'm curious about now it did say it did say that we would make a loss of 48% on that. But again, that's because of the overhead cost, and that is trending downwards. And I believe the capital cost, will they'll both trend downwards. Um, but this car currently is only worth 16,000. Um, it's gonna be sold for 24,000. So I guess we will technically make a profit, but not according to the uh, to the overhead costs, etc. Uh, so I just wanna see, I just wanna see what's gonna happen. I'm just curious. Goodness me, look at these guys just standing around doing nothing. You can you can tell that they clearly work in sales because they're they're doing nothing. They're talking about all the great ideas that they've got. Anyway, it's going to be a white car. It's going to pop in. I want to see how long it's going to last for. I suspect it will not last for very long. That's a horrible color. That really is an absolutely. That's a garish. That's a garish car. That really is a very very garish car. Where's the white car? Is it gone? Did it just go straight away? I didn't even see it come in. I guess there was a I guess it was sold. I want to see if we can try and make a an expensive car as well. I mean, to me this says that we need to make more budget cars than we do um you know, the other type of car. Let's uh let's but I don't want to make I don't want to make too many budget cars because otherwise we're going to lose money, and I don't really want to lose money not yet anyway. We do have a, a nine percent gross profit on them um, on the budget cars, so that, that's kind of nice. And I'm going to create a uh, orbital sedan Mark One or orbital sedan expensive edition. There we go, and of course we need a, a space in there, and this will be an expensive car. We'll lump it at seventy thousand. Yeah, you know, so just in case any schmucks want to uh, want to buy want to buy an expensive car, we'll we'll do we'll do that. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to put that up. I'm going to put I'm going to put it so for every orbital sedan that is made, we're going to have an orbital uh, we're going to have three orbital sedan budget editions, and we're going to have one expensive edition. I think that's probably the best way of going about doing it, just ensuring that we're, you know, having the uh, having the having the cars actually be sold uh, also i think i think we've sold 10 cars hallelujah great so that opens the door for a whole bunch of specialization and uh, really the, the the question is where do we want to start where do we want to start specializing and the answer is i'm not entirely sure uh, because we could either start with um we could start with fit body or we could start with quality check and work backwards work forwards the world is really our oyster um I, I I say we probably start at, at chassis and work forward just because that's what um well actually no that's nonsense that's a really stupid idea orbital what I should do is I should do fit lights so whatever it is that allows us to do fit lights I think it's accessories yeah let's start at accessories and then work from there we'll just you know we'll take it as it comes really uh Yep. I mean, is there anything else that we can do in um, in fit lights, fit electronics, fit windscreen, fit lights? Yeah, let's get convenience features and then. No, oh, maybe not actually. Let's get entertainment. I'm gonna I'm gonna get cracking with that. Seems like the right thing to do. Are you another budget edition? You are another budget edition. Are you a budget edition? No, you're not a budget edition. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand why people are not like immediately super keen on uh, on a on a super expensive car that doesn't really come with any features of any interest. Uh, but we are working on that. We're working on improving those features slowly but surely. Uh, we are holding quite a lot of stock though, which currently, um, I mean, it's it's not worrying, but I mean, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. I mean, ten cars is effectively half a million and we're holding 20 <laughs> so we're holding about a million 
I mean, a million in terms of the sale worth. Um, in actuality, it's probably much less than that. Probably under like three hundred thousand. Um, so yeah, certainly, that's not too bad. How? Uh, that's not what I was interested in. Uh, this is pretty good, actually. This is a pretty good graph. It, it, it's we can be pretty happy about that, actually. We can be pretty darn happy about that. Um, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I feel like... I feel like I'm actually getting getting a, uh, getting a grasp of what's going on. Um, let's have a look at our expenses and see where, where the big money is, uh, is coming out of. It's pretty much component purchase. Um, income? How, how's the income doing? Um, we sold nine cars, nine sedans. It's about one every hour. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. We still make, you know, the vast majority... The vast majority of our money from um, from the mid-range cars, but you know, and this also is a bit is a bit misleading actually because this is a revenue graph, right? Um, whereas what we need is a profit graph, and if it was a profit graph, then it would be probably all the way around to here with blue. This whole thing would be blue because uh, the 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 sedan the sedan Mark One is is the real is the real deal when it comes to profit. I mean, if we have a look here, I mean, our gross profit on that is 56%. The budget edition, the budget edition, 20, 21%. That's actually not too bad. Um, it really is, I guess, sort of just adjusting to the market. Like, we probably need to, you know, we are, uh, there's one sale per hour. There's one sale per hour. And there's three customers per hour, but seven are produced per hour. So, you know, I think we need to tailor that a little bit and make sure that we're perhaps revising that down. Uh, why can I not research that? Do I need to research Fit Electronics first? Uh, I guess so. Wait a minute, what did I just finish researching? I have literally got no idea what I finished researching. I thought I finished researching... Um, Oh, I finished researching power? Alright, I mean, that's kind of fine. Uh, because I am actually about to spend a bunch of time and money developing power. Uh, where I'm going to do that, that's still up for discussion. I think probably in this corner here. You know, let's do that now. Uh, that there, that there, that there, that there, that there. So the how much, what percentage of that, of that is... Uh, Okay, that fills a that fills a good amount of our power supply. Not very much, unfortunately, but a, a, a decent enough amount. Um, can we get can we get a couple more? One more there. Be another one there. Takes us up to about thirty five percent, thirty seven percent, maybe. That's okay, you know. That's okay. Also, I would just like to note that our resource importer is uh, our resource importer, should I say, is uh, is now it is now is now doing fine. It's. Uh, it's managing to, to deal with all of the strain, so to speak. A little bit of a queue here, but that's not too much of a problem because there's uh, because the, the painting hasn't finished on those two vehicles yet. Um, anyway, yeah, we need to tailor we need to tailor our our output so that we're actually so that we're actually matching it. There's seven there's seven customers per hour. We're matching that three to three, so that's pretty good. We're matching the mid range three to three. We're not quite matching the budget, and we're not quite matching the sedan, uh, the expensive stuff. But that's only because we've not got anything coming through. I suppose we should also make a, make a, a luxury uh, Mark One. You know? Orbital Potato Sedan. Uh, Lux Edition. We'll call it a Lux Edition so that we uh, so that we entice people to buy it. Huge, huge markup on this. 150k. That seems totally ludicrous, um, but I guess it'll fill the market. Uh, and you, let's change the schedule again. Uh, add a Lux edition. Yeah, I think honestly that's probably about right because what with the one to one ratio over here, uh, what with the the one to three to one to one ratio over here, I think that'll actually might just manage to sort of match that demand quite well. I mean, we're not actually far off in terms of uh, matching that demand, but um, yeah, pretty pretty happy with that. Anyway, ladies and gents, on that note, 
My name, of course, has been Ogre Potato. This has been Production Line. I, of course, have been running the uh, the Potato Auto Company. Thanks for watching. Or sorry, sorry, should I say the Orbital Auto Company? Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.